Hey guys, it's Jane, and this is Confessions with a Teenage Kinstuber. <laughs> so, I'm just going to tell you guys more about like my life and what's been going on lately. So, if you may or may not have noticed, this is one of my new lambs. Her name is Faith. I got her two days ago for reaching 200 days of no cutting, which is really, really exciting. So, I just named her Faith because, like, keep the faith, guys. So, yeah, she's really cute and fluffy and has a fat face. It's adorable. And I also got these crayons so I could, like, color and stuff. But, um, yeah, so I reached 200 days without cutting, and that is crazy. Like, I, I could not even imagine. Like, oh, my gosh. For five years now? Five? Six years, my life has been dominated by, like, healing through self-harm and terrible things and suicidality and all that stuff and it just it didn't just stop like you know I took like a lot of hard work and I went to the hospital and you know I really fixed myself and I've gotten to a place where it's just not as bad and um you can see that in the drawings I do they're more like free and cartoon and happy and I used to draw really dark things and write really dark poetry but I don't know, you know, it's just kind of, it's, it's a nice change. It's moving into something like that I can finally say, this is my life and all that stuff. Um, so more about my mental illnesses. If you can name it, a psychologist somewhere has stuck me with that name. So I have autism and, um, depression, anxiety, uh, I was diagnosed with suicidality because no one can understand why I still want to, like, die. But it's not about killing myself. It's more about, like, this is a child who's just innately not loving life. Like, you know, I'm okay with that because I I don't really like life and I don't get the point of it. And I, I don't want to live a long life and that's just, that's just me. So they said I have suicidality instead of su suicidation or idealism, um, which is whatever. <laughs> I don't really understand the names anymore. So yeah, and I've just learned to take those titles and just own it. Like, I can't even give advice. It's just everyone's going to label you someday. You're always going to be this or that and all that stuff. But like, in the end, you only have to, you know, know yourself and love who you are just as a person and that is the hardest thing you'll ever have to do is love and accept yourself and I can't say I've gotten there yet because there's so many things I wish I could change but you know you can't so I've just learned though that I'm not like everyone else I don't learn at my school like everyone else I take more medication than everyone else I keep pills like there's some pills in there um, next to where I do my homework because I know that when I get stressed and think about it too much, I will need a pill. And, like, that's just, that's my life. Like, everyone's different, and I do wish I didn't have to, you know, ruin my body and everything just to get results that people get naturally. But if, if it's something that makes me feel better, even if it might cut my life short, that's okay. Like, I, I want to live a short life if I can be happy. And I can say, this is what I did, and I made a difference. And I don't want to live a long life and just live. I just want to exist. I want people to be like, that was Jane. And that, that girl was someone who inspired me to be a better person, who inspired me to not self-harm, who inspired me that life isn't meant to be taken most seriously that life can be you can be a child and you can grow up at your own pace and you can like your own things and if you want to carry around a stuffed animal and go to the store and buy a stuffed animal and check out with the checkout lady who looks at you weirdly and she's like what be like own it just be like yeah you know i got a stuffed animal i am 17 years old and i am still a child <laughs> And, um, it's so freeing. There's nothing quite like being able to say, like, you know what? I like webkins. Yeah, I have an Instagram. 
and I put WebKids photos on it. I like stuffed animals. I, that's just me. That's, that's courage, and bravery comes to everyone at different points in their life in different ways, and I can only hope for you guys that you'll realize that, like, Kin's Tube isn't, isn't something that, you know, sets you apart from, like, anyone else. Like, it doesn't make you so much different because you're innocent and you like toys. Kin's Tube is just family. And that's all we really are. I mean, in the end, we're just a bunch of kids coming together, doing things we love. We we don't, like, I don't know, we don't do drugs. We don't go out and party. We talk to each other and laugh and have Instagram chats and dance live streams on Tiny Chat. And that's just, that's how we live our life. It's different, and it's the way we want to. So why should we change it? Like, you know. Did this video make any sense? I feel like I just started rambling. I don't even know what the point was. Just confessions of a teenage kin's tuber. I'm gonna leave you guys with that and um just gonna throw it all out there. If you ever in conclusion, I guess, um if you ever have any questions about um depression, anxiety, autism, anything, you can talk to me and I can't promise that I'll be like the best therapist you've ever had, but I can promise that I will listen and I will truly feel like empathy and sympathy for you and I w will understand and there's nothing you can't tell me like I won't tell you to stop cutting if you cut because I know that's it's not really it's not the answer you have to want to stop cutting I can't just say stop it it's bad like it has to come from you and I'll talk to you and I'll tell you things about life and I'll, I'll help you and that's that's all I've ever wanted to do with my life. That's I just want to do something for someone else and leave my own little legacy when I'm dead. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy 200 days no cutting to me. That's so great. And I love you guys. Life is a blessing. Bye.